Happy New Year to everyone but this guy. Why is it that the broken skins are always the goofiest? I mean, these are the comic sans of video game cosmetics, and this walking stack of overused dish towels might be spooky in the dark, but shine a light on him. Bro looks like he got a Nazgul costume from Temu. Despite this, Headsman has managed to turn the Hunt Showdown subreddit into a two-month-long game of Where's Waldo, because as it turns out, a man covered head to toe in a gray bedsheet is obscenely difficult to spot in a game whose whole color palette is like three neutral tones. And seeing how long it took Crytek to address Kane, I've decided to take matters into my own hands and create a straightforward, absolutely no-nonsense guide on how to hunt headsmen. I'm going to arm you all with knowledge and then send you into the bayou to call the headsmen population. Sort of like the wolf squad they dropped in Yellowstone to smoke all the elk. Because headsmen are, in fact, an invasive species. I almost forgot. I'm in Hunt Showdown's Lurk It Creator program, and I finally figured out how to get my game and DLC codes. I'll be hosting giveaways for a copy of Hunt and two DLCs in my Discord after I post this video, so check the description for a link if you like rolling virtual dice for free stuff. Okay, now that all the 1440p QLED gamers have finished typing skill issue and left, it's just me and you, my target audience, and this fucker. First things first, you gotta find a headsman, and to do that you need to know where to look. Headsmen can generally be found hiding somewhere dark and secluded like Gollum, or Verbalace after his wife finds out what he spent 50k on. Their most common feeding grounds tend to be deeply wooded areas near compounds and any small buildings outside of a boss lair. Headsmen also have a weekly migratory pattern that drives them to wildcard contracts over the weekend, the guarantee of a low visibility map condition or time of day is irresistible to them, resulting in a high concentration of headsmen ripe for hunting. Thank you, Ashbloom. But knowing where to look for a headsman is only half the finding part. You also have to be able to see them. Remember when I said shine a light on them? Introducing the flashlight, a forgotten relic of the days when night TOD was darker than a basement unit in a blackout. This handy dandy illumination device will make the visual acquisition of nearby headsmen as easy as ABC, which is ironic considering most headsmen players don't know theirs. But wait, there's more. These guys are ambush predators, however instead of vertical slit pupils they just have their gamma maxed out, which means that a direct beam from this shoulder mounted headlight will fry their retinas like a ginger at the beach during a sunscreen shortage. But Rabitual, you say, won't using the flashlight make me an extremely vulnerable human lighthouse? Yes, but that headsman was going to see you before you saw him anyways, and we aren't hunting white shirts. Now we need to go back to the basics, and by the basics I mean Ooga Booga Fire. Like the bad guy animals in any animated movie, headsmen shit their tidy greys in the presence of rapid oxidation. Not only is long tattered clothing drenched in gamer grease extremely flammable, lurking in the shadows is a bit difficult when you're a human bonfire. For this reason, any serious headsman hunter will want to use a shotgun with Dragon's Breath ammunition. Trust me, I'm a YouTuber. The simple act of putting my opinion on a platform gives me endless credibility. You would think that we've reached the ultimate even playing field in terms of visibility, a lighthouse fighting a bonfire. But the scales are actually tipped in your favor. You see, being set aflame means the headsman is also pressured into moving, an action wholly unnatural to him. He is now out of his comfort zone, blinded, on fire, and a very easy kill. As you look down at the lump of greasy rags and parental disappointment lying at your feet, you might be inclined to think your job is done. It isn't. The next step is ensuring he never gets up. Regardless of whether the relevant factor is teammates or necro or both, the solution is the same. Wire and more fire. Concertina bombs are a must-have piece of equipment for proper headsman hunting and should be deployed directly on the corpse. Next, reignition. An easy way to remember the whole process is to simplify it into an acronym, FBB KCB. A. Find blind burn, kill conk, burn again. A delightful mixture of assonance and alliteration should make memorizing this a breeze. I know by this point you are confident, fired up, and ready to begin your first headsman hunt, but let's not jump the proverbial gun. Yes, you can hunt a headsman as a solo, but they won't always be on their own as well. In the past, it was quite likely to find a headsman creeping about all by himself, but apparently a new app on the market has brought headsmen together in couples and thruples at an unprecedented rate. Functioning in a similar manner to Tinder or Grinder. Camper connects headsman players with each other in an efficient and modern way. To combat this new threat, I highly recommend conducting headsman hunts in groups, and to this end, I have decided to restructure the entirety of the AHAHA. Until such a time as Crytek makes changes to the headsman's visibility, the American Hunters Against Horses Association, or AHAHA, will be known as the American Hunters Against Horses and additionally Headsman Association, or AHAHAHA. So if you weren't already going to join the Discord for the free shit, consider joining for the community support and the organized effort against the two greatest threats facing the bayou, horses and headsmen. Together we are strong, and in the words of middle-aged white women everywhere, teamwork makes the dream work. Fucking subscribe!